Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mike from MNR Automotive. Today we have a Bronco Raptor and we've installed a 30 inch Pro Series light bar. Let's get started. So, the bolts that we're going to be using for the MNR brackets are the inner bolts here. It is a TP40 socket. Usually it's not very tight. I just like to start it with a ratchet and then do the rest with my fingers. There you go. These are the MNR brackets that you're going to get with the kit. The top holes are for the bolts that we just take it out, and these are the tabs that are gonna hold the light bar in place. Take a note at the orientation that the tab is on the outside of the bolts. So now we're gonna go ahead and thread the factory bolt through, and we're gonna finger tighten it. So this is the tab that goes on the outside of the light. Uh, when you're lining it, just make sure that this line is facing forward. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. Thread the factory bolt through the bracket and just go ahead and tighten it. Now that these are aligned, we can go ahead and tighten them. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and slide the light bar in between the two tabs. You get two bolts and two washers for each side. All right, so let's talk about the wiring. The light bar comes with three wires. You do get a black wire, which is the ground. You get the red wire, which is a positive for the main function of the light, which is the white, and you get a white wire, which is a positive for the amber DRL. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and feed it through the front of the grill. So I'm gonna feed all the wire into the inner fender. Now that the wires behind the grill and inside the inner fender, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna feed the wire up so that way I can pull it out and top. Needle nose pliers help in order to pull the wire through. See, once you grab it, you can pull it up. All right, now that we have the wires next to the auxiliary switches, uh, each auxiliary switch is a different wire color. So the ones we're gonna use today for the light bar, we're gonna use switch number two, which is going to be the green wire. What is the green wire with a brown stripe? So the power to the white light is going to be the red cable. We're gonna connect that to the green wire. And then for the amber DRL, that's gonna be the yellow wire with an, with an orange stripe in it. And that's gonna to connect to the white wire, which is the power for the DRL. So now we got the two power sources connected. Let's go ahead and connect a, a, a ground. We already have an eyelid on here. I'm gonna use this bolt here for the ground. Disconnect it. Thread it through the eyelid and then re tighten it. So now that we finished the wiring, let's see how it looks like. Oh, it looks, looks amazing. This is the powerful white light. And this is the amber DRL. Thank you guys for watching. I know you guys are gonna love the product.